It is the case that captivated all of Las Vegas a decade ago and pulled on the heartstrings of everyone that heard it. The murder of baby Jane Cordova Doe, later identified as Crystal Figueroa. Well, tonight, a little piece of good news for Crystal's older sister. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazara has the details on this. She joins us live in studio now with more. Gina. Trisha, 10 years ago, a local Mexican restaurant offered a reward of $10,000 for anyone with information leading to baby Jane's killer's arrest. The money sat in the bank ever since, and tonight, the amount tripled. That money was given to Crystal's older sister, Leslie. There's a very good chance you remember this photo. It was the composite picture police made of baby Jane Cordova Doe after her little body was found in a dumpster more than 10 years ago. The community mourned together this horrific death and heartless dumping. Six weeks after the lifeless baby Jane was found, she was identified as three-year-old Crystal Figueroa. Crystal's grandmother, who filed the missing person report more than a decade ago, has thought about this tragedy nonstop over the last 10 years. Every day. It, that's something that you never forget. Crystal's own mother and her boyfriend were eventually found guilty of beating the three-year-old to death. There's just stuff that I won't ever be able to explain to people. But tonight, the family got to celebrate some good news. Reward money that was never given to Crystal's grandmother due to her relationship with her daughter. Crystal's older sister, Leslie Figueroa, collected the $30,000 check tonight. My heart dropped and I was like, wow, there's someone out there that's helping me. That's it's going to be an amazing opportunity. Money that will help Leslie pay for college and create a life for herself that her baby sister never got. really want to make sure that I accomplish my goal in life and that's to become, to join the law enforcement. Crystal's mom and her boyfriend are both currently serving life sentences for this heinous crime. Gina Lazara, 13 Action News.